with the number one pick in the NFL draft, the number one cornerback in college football history, myself, I get picked up by Bill Belichick and his Patriots organization. And with everything they gave up to pick me up number one overall, they want me to come in and be a dog off the rip as CB1 on this team. But here in week one, we got the Eagles, one of the most loaded teams in the NFL. But here on third and six, I got this soft squat zone. I'm going to read Jalen Hurts like a book. I'm going to come down in this ball and pick up my first official pick of my NFL career. Now midway through the third quarter, I got a deep zone here on first and 10, but I peeped the handoff. And trying to tackle these backs in the league got me missing college a little bit. These boys don't go down easy. My first career NFL game at home, and we take an embarrassing L. Offense got completely shut out, but the last chance I get to take a hit on DeAndre Swift here, I'm going to make sure it counts. This week, we have the most explosive offense in all of professional football, but my secondary, we have the toughest assignment we'll probably face all year. Tie game here in the third quarter. I got Tyreek Hill here in man coverage, and trying to keep him from exploding underneath, he takes off on the outside. A poor tackle attempt from me and a broken tackle from Jabril Peppers turns into a touchdown for the Miami Dolphins. But one thing about it, my mistakes don't make or break me. After a late adjustment here on third and five, Tua tried to hit Waddle right here on a quick route. I make a crazy adjustment coming back to the ball, coming down with the pick. It's only my second NFL game and we're already here in overtime and with one receiver split wide they run the ball and if I didn't get here and make this tackle this probably would have went to the career for six. In my entire football life I've never played against a receiver with Tyree Hill speed so I'm playing real conservative trying to keep him from making cuts inside but he gets outside yet again makes an insane catch but the refs mark him out of bounds and with no hesitation after the play that red challenge flag came flying off Miami's sideline and after reviewing the play Tyreek was in bounds and he had possession. We take the L to Miami and we too. After giving up the game-winning touchdown last week, I've been going 10 times harder in practice. Even though it was against Tyreek Hill, one of, if not the best receiver in the league, it just don't feel good. I got to tighten up. The way that I've learned and developed to play man and zone coverage back in college is nearly useless here in the league. These receivers are on another level. I got to revamp my whole entire mindset and just way of play. We got the Jets this week, and I'm playing more of an off-man coverage here on second and five, but with how fast the quarterbacks get rid of the ball and how well these receivers run their routes, it's tough to make a play on the ball. So far, my my transition from college to the league has been pretty smooth, but the one thing I struggle to really wrap my head around is how fast quarterbacks get rid of the ball in the NFL. But after that last play, coming through helping my teammates secure that tackle, I came down on my ankle a little weird, and my teammates stepped on it at the same time, and it instantly swelled up like a baseball. So I sat out the rest of the game, and we take our third straight loss. But luckily, it was a minor ankle injury. And before you know it, I was back on the practice field getting ready for our next game, picking off every ball that Mac Jones put in the air. Face-to-face, -face, man coverage against one of the best young receivers in the league. I'm in for a challenge today. But here on first and 10, Dak and CD would connect over the top, right over my head, just a step away from securing that pick. Back in college, I love man coverage. But coming into the league, having to stop the number one guy on every team week in and week out has made me fall in love with zone coverage. And it's a lot easier to make plays in these situations. Down four points just before the half, we got Dak in an empty gun look. We know the ball is about to be put into the air. He connects with one of his guys, and after a terrible tackle attempt from Jabril, I have to step up and make the play. In college, I was the master of bait, but since entering the league, I've been trying to play my assignment and stay true to my zone as much as possible. But down 12 points in the fourth quarter, I'm trying to bait up my zone and get a pick on Dak, but the ball came so quick, I couldn't even get in position. Coming back from this injury, I'm hyped this week against the Saints, and they have an extremely explosive wide receiving core, but I'm ready. Down seven points here in the second quarter, three receivers split wide on my side of the field. They all run goals just for Carr to dump the ball off to Kamara, and I come down and lay a big hit just as he thought he was going to take off. Third and three, I've studied this formation throughout the entire week. We got Michael Thomas lining up on the outside. I know what's coming. I sit right on top of this route. I come down with my third pick of the season. Let's go. One thing I've noticed so far about the league that's a lot different from college, a lot of the plays seem predetermined but the execution is on another level so it's like you know what's coming but if you don't play it correctly you will get exposed late in the fourth quarter we're down seven points still defense we're holding our own but the offense haven't done anything the entire day but Alvin Kamara he'll take this one up the middle and get a touchdown to put this one to bed not gonna lie, I thought I was 100% healed from my little ankle situation, especially after coming down with a pick in our last game, but it's been bothering me a lot lately in practice and just in general. Before our game against the Raiders this week, I was already told that I would be taking limited snaps this week just to get a feel for things, and even though I hate that, I gotta do what's best for this defense, most importantly this team, and not play out here injured. And aside from that, I got one of the, if not the best receiver in the league this week in Tay Adams, and I don't even get to guard him for a full game, but the first half, I did a pretty good job shutting him down. 
I'm back and I feel 100% healthy. We got Stefan Diggs, Josh Allen in the Bills this week, and we're looking to come in and get our first win of the season. There's no way we go out on the L and we're at home. It's third and 11 and Amanda with Diggs on the outside. He's determined to get up field and go in for a touchdown. Josh Allen put a bunch of air into this ball, but my makeup speed is insane. I get back, secure the pick, and take this one back for 31 yards. We're midway through the third quarter, and at this point, we need offense to step up because defensively, we're holding our own. But with a bad ball from Josh Allen here on third and six, we come up with another three and out situation. And just like that, our prayers have been answered. Late in the fourth quarter, offense went down and put up some points. And what almost turned into a great play by Diggs turned into an even better play by me. I laid a hit on him midair, and he for sure dropped that ball. It's first and goal, and as a defense, we're expecting a run. But to our surprise, they actually throw the ball. And a wide-open receiver in the middle of the end zone turns into a tip pick for our defense, and we put the ball right back to our offense's hands. Somehow, offense did not run out the clock. And 13 seconds is way too much time for Diggs and Josh Allen. But while I'm strapping up him on one side of the field, my teammates are on the same type of time on the other. They pick up an interception, nearly take it back for six, and we pick up our first win of the season. We're just about here at that halfway point of my rookie season, and one thing no one can say is that I didn't transfer to the league pretty well. Yeah, it hasn't been perfect, but my ball skills still on point. I'm catching picks, still balling out, doing my thing. Our second matchup with the Dolphins this season, and yet again, I got a matchup with the fastest man in the entire NFL, and it just seems like he's always a couple steps ahead of me. I'm almost right there in place to make a play. It's first and 10 down here in the red zone with Tyreek lined up in side on top of the numbers i know he's gonna run something outside towards the sideline i read it perfectly but with perfect ball placement and a great route i can't even get here to make a play on that ball it's like i'm out here playing scared i'm playing super conservative trying to keep them from breaking anything off in the inside and i always give up the big play on the outside i get back and make the tackles but i need to be in position to make plays on the ball and get more picks and that little ankle injury I had before, it just continues to haunt me. It'll swell up from time to time, and trying to keep up with a receiver like Terry McLaurin, especially when he's breaking on the outside like this, I feel like I re-injured my ankle all over again. And trust me, as much as I want to be out here in the field, playing with my guys, proving to everyone why I was the number one pick in the draft, I need to get off this field, let the trainers know that I'm not really feeling it, and I need to get this taken care of ASAP, because it'll only hurt me down the road. But the crazy thing is, I know I can be a great player, not only in my draft class, but in the history of this game at this position. But the scary thing about it all, I don't want to be one of those players that could have been and it was riddled by injuries. Now, as far as my ankle injury goes, I just feel like it's more of a day-to-day. -day. Some days I'm feeling it, some days I'm not. But for the most part, one thing I know for a fact, I don't want to sit out any more games. Maybe a half, maybe a quarter, but not playing at all is just not an option. We got the Colts this week, and trying to shut down AR, Pittman, and the rest of these guys is definitely going to be one of our biggest challenges of the season. Like I said before, I feel like I play a little more fearful of these receiver speed than I should. I get back, I play perfect man coverage. I know where the ball is going to be thrown. I know the route is going to be ran, but this receiver gets me completely turned around. I got to get on point. Currently, I lead the league in interceptions as a rookie, but I continue to make mistakes. Here on first and 10, Pittman beats me to the back of the end zone, and thinking I have enough space to get back and make a play on this ball, AR put this ball on the money. And another huge difference that I've noticed coming from college, the receivers in the league actually attempt to block you. I'm used to getting off scot-free, making big tackles on running backs and just other receivers going crazy, but I gotta completely avoid guys, miss tackles, and get opportunities late. It's fourth quarter with a minute left. We currently have a three-point lead, third and three. We're doing everything we can trying to keep these boys from securing this first down and I got to do everything in my power to get back in position to make a tackle and stop this first down attempt. Third and five here in overtime I'm in that off man coverage against Pittman. He's going to run a quick route into the outside. I'm thinking I'm going to come over and make a tackle but that speed is just another level here in the league and he takes off up the sideline for a touchdown to win the game. At this point I have to do everything I can to finish off my rookie season on the most positive note possible. We've taken multiple L's but two of them have been solely on me. There's a few things I need to tweak within my game. Some of these things can't be fixed just here in this season, but a lot of minor adjustments can be made so I can increase my chances of locking down some of the better receivers in the league and not continue to give up big touchdowns. And like I said before, currently as a rookie, I'm leading the league in interceptions, but I got to stop playing scared. I got to lock in and play with pure confidence. If I do that, mix that with my ball skills and just a few tweaks in man coverage, I'll be dominant playing better than any corner in this league. It's sad to say, we might not make it into the playoffs this season, but one thing I can promise myself in this organization, in these last eight games, I'm going to do everything I can to walk away with at least one pick. Make a mark on this league that can't be erased.